Good morning. I tend to ramble, so I'm going to use these. Um, Iris was my friend, and it wasn't always like that. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you remember the love languages, the list of ways that people show love to each other. Well, they were designed as a tool for us to use to recognize how others love us. But in my youth and ignorance, I um, used it to measure whether or not someone was loving me well. Like, for example, if I felt like quality time was the, the thing that I needed and you didn't give me quality time, then you were wrong. Not I was being unreasonable. Anyway, <clears throat> that method didn't work for me, but I didn't know it. And it caused a lot of tension for me and Iris because I wanted her to do this, to show me she loved me, but that's not being gracious and accepting, you know, who someone else is. And that lasted for 20 years because of my stubbornness. And then one day I read this very important sentence. Learning to let others love us on their terms is part of what it means to submit to one another. And that first part, learning to let others love us on their terms, did something, clicked, and it made me go, oh, maybe I don't understand what I've been doing all these years. And something unlocked for me. And then I started to notice who Iris was as a human in my life and to appreciate all those things about her <clears throat> that were true. Like, um, my list out of order. Her, um, already mentioned her quirky sense of humor. I don't know if quirky is the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, her love of shoes, we had a lot in common. Her love of Princess Diana, <clears throat> roses, gardening, just general beauty, color, travel, and all things Scottish, <clears throat> and also Downton Abbey. We agreed on a lot of things. And, and most importantly, um, Iris was like one of my greatest champions during breast cancer because she knew what she knew what I was dealing with. <clears throat> I'm sad that her last couple of years were so difficult, but there's great comfort in knowing that that's over. And since she loved all things Scottish, I thought I would end with a little Scottish poem by Robert Burns, or I think it might be a portion of a poem. When death's dark stream I ferry o'er, a time that surely shall come, in heaven itself I'll ask no more than just a highland welcome. <clears throat> 